actually met Captain Dan Harrison from Crisfield there. And he's a, he's a, I've had him on the show here before. You can check out the podcast. He's a, uh, an avid angler. He's a guide when it comes to fly fishing. And unfortunately, he's not going to be there for the first time in many years. Last I checked, I'll check with him again, but, um, that's where I met him. And he's a great guy. And he's not going to be there this year, which is too bad because the kids love to get up there and, and tie their own clouds or minnows. And they won't be able to do it this year. I'll double check and make sure. But uh, anyway, that's that's coming up next week. Mission's only ten dollars. The weekend pass is fifteen dollars. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday next week. Probably the area's largest boat show. Without question, it's the largest boat show in the area, and that's in the Ocean City Convention Center. And you can get more information at ocboatshow.com. Oshi, ocboatshow.com for a list of vendors and exhibitors. You can get a floor layout as well to help you out plan your way through all the exhibitors. It's going to be a fun time. I can't wait. I can't wait. I, I, I'm like a kid going in there and looking at all the toys in there. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to do it for the Delmarva Angler this morning. Uh, next week, I'm not sure who I'm having on next week. I am working on uh, a couple guests. There's been a lot of requests to have somebody from Denrec. I've had many, many emails and messages of people asking me, when are you going to get Denrec on the air? And that is something I'm working on. Maybe an, it, it would take an hour-long show just to talk about taking your calls, questions related to fishing regulations, things like that. And I've had a lot of people ask me when I'm going to do that. That's something I'm going to be working on. So stay tuned for that. All right. Take care of yourself. God bless. Tight lines. If you go fishing, be careful. Be safe. Make sure you're following all the fishing regulations. And have fun. That's the important thing. We'll talk to you next week. From the first town in the first state in the USA, we're WXDE Lewis. Good morning, everybody. It is CBS, Jim CBS, Weller, CBS, and you are Barrett, watching Weller Weekend Does Del Marva, and we are sitting in inside Sanders, Weller's Utility Trailers on Route 13 in Bridgeville. And I say good morning to you. There's no snow Next in the Tuesday, forecast for this morning anyway. Uh, you have to check the weather day hour by hour in Lower Delaware. But anyway, good morning. It's Saturday morning. We are live. This is Weller Does Del Marva. It's a weekly show. I do it right here on Cozy TV. Um from 7 to 8. It's also on the radio on Delaware 105.9 from 7 to 9. You can also watch the show um, afterwards if you ever want to watch one of our old shows at WellerDoesDelmarva.com. I did want to throw out there, if you're watching and you say, look, I'd like to have a commercial in the middle of this show or something like that, we're selling some advertising in here also. So you could give me a call about that and I'll give you all the details, whether you have a produced TV commercial or you just want us to wing it or something like that. But anyway, I want to introduce Bob Backman. Do they call you Bobby B or Bob? You can call, feel free to call me Bobby B. That's okay. Bobby B. I don't so. understand how you do this. How are you on radio and TV at the same time? Well, we're time? only on TV right this minute. Oh, okay. My Cozy that. TV. I don't understand that. And uh, okay. this man plays a big role in that, so uh, talk right into your oh, mic. Right, right in he plays a big role in that because you are El Presidente or General Manager or Owner Operator of That's all good. WRDE. Yes, I am. I'm Coast TV. All you. right. And uh, we're going to talk to him off and on through the entire show this morning. So um, if you have any questions, could they send me a question anywhere? Sure. They can sure. send you a question uh, right Brooks on uh, Ritter. WellerDoesDelmarva.com. Hey, All right. So on WellerDoesDelmarva.com, if you have a question for Bobby B., who has quite a history of radio and now TV and so on. We're going to go over all that, the life and times of Bobby B. here in a little bit. But if you have a question for him, you could send us a, a, a question at uh, wellerdoesdelmarva.com, and hopefully Brooks will be paying attention enough to see it, and then he'll also be sharp enough to tell me the question. Right, Brooks? I hope so. You're asking all right. a lot. I'm asking a lot. He's already over his pay. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's like, I don't get paid that much to do this at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the morning. 
So anyway, this is Weller Does Del Marva. We're going to have some giveaways. Going to give you the phone number, which is 337-7300. Write that down because when you call, you're under no obligation to take the free item, okay? So it's a free item. We're going to offer a few of them. You're not going to be obligated to take it, so don't don't feel any pressure there. But if you don't call, then you're not eligible. And what you do is you simply call and say, my name is John Doe. I want one of those widgets that you just mentioned, and I'll be in sometime next week to get it, okay? 337-7300. We're getting ready to go on. Colin, you going to talk to me too? No, he is. Yes. yes. Yep. Uh, but All they right. need to mention Thanks whether by. Did, did they hear it on radio or did oh, they I see it on TV? Oh, I forgot that part. That's right. We're doing Very a important. survey here. Right. We need to know. Are we still on Just TV? Yes, we are. All right. I'm going to do a quick giveaway just for the Cozy TV audience, okay? I'm going to give you a Weller Does Delmarva coffee mug. Am I on the right camera? I don't even know which one. This one right here. That one right there. Anyway, I'm going to give you a free Weller Does Delmarva coffee mug. The cost of it is free. All you got to do is dial 337-7300 right now and say, Jim Weller, I'll take one of those coffee mugs. And are you asking, is it new or used? It's brand new, folks. So it's a brand new unused coffee mug, free, for the asking. And then you've got all next week to come in and pick it up at Weller's in Bridgeville. That offer is just for My Cozy TV viewers. Just say you saw it on My Cozy TV. I forgot that already. And I I want one. You're just leaving a message. There's actually not operating. Correct. You're not going to talk to anybody. You're just going to leave a message, and then we'll get back to you on Monday and uh, tell you to come on in. Or you can just come on in today. We'll be open from 9 to 1 today, 9 to 5 all next week. But it's my first giveaway. So call me on the phone if you're watching. I'd like to know, even if you're watching and you don't want the coffee mug, give me a call and tell me where you're watching from. And uh, how do we look, also, is what I'd like to know. First good. first me, good. and then tell me how Bobby B. looks, oh, okay? Look great. And then tell us how the two of us look, now all right? You're now you're so anyway, we're having a good time here. It's going to be a great show. i got lots of stuff to tell you about. We're also going to be on the radio here in just a minute or two. The transition is unbelievable. You wouldn't believe how technical it is and mm. how it works and everything. So we haven't got there yet, anyway. So uh, good morning again. Weller does Del Marva. First caller, thank you very much. I'm going to ignore the call at the moment, but say thank you for calling. And if you are watching and you're watching on My Cozy TV, I need to know if you're watching and what town. And then if you do any calls when we get on the radio, also then tell me if you're listening on the radio or on TV. Or if you're watching on TV and listening on the radio, that's called stereo. So that way, uh, I think it's actually called audio video. But either way, we're on My Cozy TV. We are not on radio yet, but it's coming. And then later, if you want to watch this again, any part of it, go to WellerDoesDelmarva.com, and you can view most of our shows there, the ones that we felt were view-worthy, some of them up. Internet, that's what they always tell me, Internet, bandwidth. I don't know if you ever hear them words, but they drive me They drive me crazy. I don't words. have much bandwidth. Because I, I, I can't really audit if that's accurate or not accurate, so I'm mean. being told that information. Anyway, are we on the radio? Not yet. Not yet. Coming soon. Should I give another free item? Sure. Let me think. Here's the one that's real popular. What we got? The Weller's Discount Card. Oh, yeah. A $15 value, absolutely free to My Cozy TV viewers right now. If you call 337-7300, you got to say, hey, my name is, I'm watching you from, I saw you on TV, or if you're listening on radio, which you can't be because we're not on the radio yet. But anyway, and like one of these you can have it i had somebody just use professional power wash the other day you get 15 percent off so if you had your house power wash that was 200 dollars, that would be a 30 dollars savings all by using a card that absolutely cost you nothing so anyway um i just want to let you know how'd you do that without a calculator what's that oh i'm going to tell you when you give money away all day long you get good at calculating people say would you take this would you take that so but we've got a whole showroom full of stuff and uh, we're going to walk around a little bit later and talk about some of the interesting things. That's why we're in the showroom. Now, everybody that's watching or viewing on My Cozy TV, you're getting ready to be part of the Ray Didio audience. So now we are live on radio also, Delaware 1059. Good morning, everybody. You're listening to Jim Weller. This is the Weller Does Del Marva radio slash TV show. And uh, good morning. We're sitting inside my showroom at Weller's Utility Trailers in Bridgeville. We're going to have a couple giveaways, and uh, the phone number you need for that is 337-7300. Got a special guest going to be on with me. We're going to talk about all kinds of interesting things. And then, of course, I have a whole list of advertisers. And I just want to let you know that um, it's going to be a good show, and it's going to be worth your time tuning in. 
episode. Weller Does Del Marva is live, ready, set, go. I've got Colin Walls in the background over there, and Brooks Ritter. I've got executive slash, uh, what is that? Um, what's the opposite, or what's the next above or down the executive producer? Technical the presidential producer, pr- producer <laughs> technical producer, executive producer. They're all here. So anyway, you can also watch us at My Cozy TV. That's on Comcast 204, Mediacom 99, and on air 31.2. Okay? So I got it all, and we've got it all. So anyway, uh, I mentioned the phone number. I think there's going to be some giveaways, 337-7300. If you would be so kind to call me now and just leave a message and tell me, are you listening on the radio? Are you watching on the stream? Or are you watching on TV? I would love to know, okay? So just dial 337 7300 and say, hey, here's where I'm at and here's what's going on, okay? I want to mention one of my sponsors for starters, which is my good friend George Luff. Everybody's accountant should be their good friend, especially this time of year, okay? So we got our year end bookkeeping done. My accountant is George Luff, Luff and Associates. He has an office in Milford, Rehoboth, and another one in Dover. One phone number gets you to all three of them. I love that, so I don't have to worry about where anybody's at. I just need to dial one number. I'm going to give you that in just a minute. But he does accounting work, okay? I've been doing my accounting work 25-plus years. And he also has got a new thing, which is not real new because we've been dealing with him over two years. Well, this is called Easy Payroll. So if you're a business person, you know exactly how aggravating doing payroll can be. There's all kinds of new rules and regs. You never know when something's going to come up or come out. And you say to yourself, man, why do I got to keep up with all this? I just want to run my business. Well, I'm going to make it easy for you, and so is Luff & Associates, because they have an easy payroll system. You can have one or two employees, literally one or two employees, or you can have one or 200 employees and any number in between, and they will help you out, okay? You don't have to deal with them for your accounting work. If you want them to do the payroll, it's okay. They can do your uh, W-2s or 3s or I-9s or W-4s or your direct deposits, or they got a whole list of things they can do. Very affordable, and that way you can get focused on just doing what you do best, which is run your business. So give them a call. The phone number is 422-9699, 422-9699. Luff & Associates, one call does it all, Milford, Dover, or Rehoboth. 422-9699, and on the web, and they're actually on the World Wide Web, not just the local web, the World Wide Web, LuffCPAs.com. Give them a call. Say, hey, I heard about you on Jim Weller's show, and I want you to do my payroll. I'd actually ask them also to provide the money to pay you. That's what I can't get them to do, but maybe you can. So it's nothing like somebody doing your payroll and providing all the money to pay everybody. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Um, Oh, here's George Luff saying, I'm not doing that. But anyway, just want to let you know that we'd love to hear from you when you call. You don't get through. You're just going to leave a voicemail. But we like to know, are you watching on My Cozy TV? You watching online? You listening online? You listening on the radio? It's a lot of technical questions there, I know. But I really would like to know what you think, and I'd like to know what you think of the show. How do you like our new setting? We're in the showroom. Store's not open till nine o'clock today. Okay, so um, we, uh, evidently there's some technicality about you know you can't have people in the show without them knowing they're on the show. So anyway, uh, the store's not open till nine o'clock. All right, Weller does Del Marva. What is next? Store opens at nine. I got down here, Bob back. Bob Backman. Hello. Hi there, young man. Welcome. I'm happy to see you. I, I want to get the name and number of that account. It was our station account, Sharky. Just had to take a little vacation up by the county. Oh, my so gosh. We're going to be needing a new uh, account pretty soon. Well, I want to get that guy's He has an office in Rehoboth. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that'd be great. I've dealt with him, and let me tell you, I only got audited once, okay. and, and he told me up front, he said, you're going to find something, and when they do, just be happy. I said, they ain't finding nothing. We went through an eight-day IRS audit. Good man. So I was happy. He's a good man. My daughter was a nervous wreck. What we did is we took all of our paperwork and put it in a big enclosed trailer. And we took it to his office. So he did the audit with the IRS. Right. And all the paperwork was right there. That's it. And when they needed something, she would go get it, give it to him, because she did not want to deal with the people directly. Very but it was It was real That's nice. Awesome. So anyway. Yeah. So you are Bob Backman. Yes, Some people know you as Bobby B. Yes, they do. My all right. Okay. And so tell us... Um, Oh, uh, start backwards a little bit. Bobby B. Bobby B. Where did all? Who are you? Where'd you come from? I come from West Philadelphia. Okay. And everybody on our street had a nickname: Moose, Tank, you know, things like that. Okay. And my nickname was Cool Bobby B. And I just kept it. Really? Yeah. That's kind of a cool name. Yeah. Cool like Bobby it. B. Yeah, that's pretty good. 
All right. And then did you, um, like, what are some of your careers? What did you do in Philadelphia? Oh, well, I, of course, I uh, went to college in the daytime. Okay. And uh, that's as far back, I guess. As How I were you back. academically? Horrible. Okay. I took me five and a half years to four years worth of work. <laughs> but yeah. so what? So uh, what? Did it take you eight years? Uh, previous to that, I had a disc jockey business where I used to go and do people's Sweet 16 parties and their provincial parties and their okay. weddings and stuff. But I was only 13, 14, and 15 years old, so my oh. dad had to pack all the equipment in the back of his car to take me to do these boat He wouldn't let you days. drive at that age? Not, not really, no. He didn't okay. really like that idea. At least when he knew about it. But anyway, finally I got to college. The college radio station said I wasn't good enough to go on there, so I got a job at a real radio station at night, and I worked there really? for four years. WHAT? Yeah, if I were to ever have a radio station, let me tell you what my call letters would be. What's that? W E L R. Well, right. I think it says well to some degree anyway. It's close enough for radio. Close work. enough, right? Exactly. So anyway, so all right. So W H A T. It was uh, FM was a jazz station where I was. In. Okay. The AM was a black station. Okay. So we got exposed to every major star. This was in Philadelphia. Oh, every yes. major star coming through that every day. I got to meet everybody and anybody from sports figures and celebrities. Like who were some of the people? Well, of course, I met all the Temptations, the Four Tops, and Abby Carell, Jamie Brown, Will Chamberlain, Rick Dick Allen. I mean, he pretty much... Did Will Chamberlain have to duck to come through the door? Was it yes, really he that had tall? a duck. He had a duck. Okay. He, the door. he had a record out, a doo-wop record. He played no it down way. by the river. Oh, yeah, I remember this well. Back in the <laughs> very early 60s. We're going to have to get that record on the it, show one day. It's pretty good, yeah. Right. Jay Allen had a record too, but that goes in November. We played with Phil, so he went to the clubs and went after the club. Got yeah. busy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. so that's how I started. I was the youngest kid, you know, on the radio anywhere. And uh, the, the guy that hired me was a very famous news jock. He still is named Sid Martin because it's not the quote of the And he, when he hired me, he told me, he said, You are the worst announcer I think I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> But I'm going to give you a job anyway, so that's, that's, all, that's how I got into broadcast. Because you have to have one of the yeah, worst announcers exactly. on staff. So everybody else sounds really good. Right. right. They were glad. All the other announcers were glad you were hired. Exactly. So glad. So glad. <laughs> anyway, so I worked there for four years. Yeah. Then I became a country distractor, which I loved so much, at another station in the world, uh, WRCP, which was just uh, okay. That was the best ever because the country music business, artists, and favorite music is even beyond you up now. It's the country music in the 60s and 70s. I love We're going to need you to stay in contact with them because I just came up with a new idea we can do the audition. What's that? We're going to call some of these people some Saturday All morning. Right. As long as they're in the, the same time zone. And, and it's it's a great industry. And, uh, anyway, Sounds after like that, it. I got into sales management, group management. Sales and management mainly of radio. Media. radio okay, radio stations. And then I finally got into TV. Um, in 1995, we worked with a guy named Eventually, we got up to 63 TV stations. And he didn't oh, want to hire nice. any managers from the TV stations that ever were TV managers. He only wanted radio managers. So, luckily, I fit into that. That's how I got back. Wow. All right, I'm going to switch gears for sure. a little bit, yep. and we're going we're gonna to talk to Bob, Bobby B, every half an hour during the show. We're going to let you hang around the whole show. Well, good. And um, every half an hour, we're going to fit you in and talk to you about Appreciate five that. or seven minutes or something like that. All right? Was I out of time on that one, Bruce? Yes. Um, Brooks is over there. I forgot to mention he does this. What do you do first? You hold up two fingers, which means two fingers left, one finger left, and then we're rendering. How much is a finger left? <laughs> a minute. One minute, oh, one minute okay. per finger. <laughs> one minute per finger. Uh, right. It's the same thing if he were to lose weight and his fingers get thinner. Got it. It's still the same amount of time. All right. What is tomorrow? I don't think I'm allowed to say the word, but there's a big ball game tomorrow? There is. Okay. And you're having a party? A little one. All right. Are you wanting to give out your address? Not really. I'm already afraid I'm not going to have the food. <laughs> oh, really? Well, why don't you just not eat? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a message here. The camera angles look great. Okay, so the angles of the camera. Um, so anyway, oh, this is a, this is one of your advertisers. Um, that granite place. Uh, Mark Johnson guy, he's a is watching guy, yeah. and um, says the camera angles look great and uh, Chip's hair looks wonderful. Where's uh, that? 
<laughs> he must have saw it yesterday from okay, behind. Beautiful. But anyway, good morning, Mark. Thank so you. anyway, that Granite Place is uh, advertiser on WRDE. And advertiser on my show, as a matter of fact. And he has a special I'm going to mention that uh, had some good response to it last week. So anyway, what am I going to talk about next? Door opens at 9. Um, no nonsense office machines. I'm going to do a walk around here in a little bit, too. Walk around, walk about with uh, Brandon. That's Brooks' brother, so everybody knows what you see him. You're going to say, oh, nice twins. It's not sure. <laughs> but anyway, You're also so, going to uh, think I ate all the food, but that is totally not true. I didn't say anything like that. I've actually been pretty kind to you this morning. Yeah, so I'm far. Not. We're just getting started, everybody. Another one of my good advertisers. I'm going to hold this up. Is this showing up? Do you know what that is, Bobby B? Use That's that. your orange juice for breakfast, orange right? Juice, yep. Drop 10 orange it's juice. actually a radio. Okay. Look at this. Okay, this, what you're seeing, folks, was in our attic. My wife had put it up there. It was in there on purpose. It's not like it came with a house or anything. But anyway, it is a Tropicana orange with a little straw, but that's the antenna. And um, it's an AM FM radio. And it actually was her grandfather. And I'm just going to tell you the variety of things that No Nonsense Office Machines works on, okay? We took a microphone there, and they worked on it. We took a video camera there that the um, plug in the side of it went bad, where you plug in the microphone, and they worked on that. They worked on this little AM, FM radio. And I'm amazed. I have to be honest with you. It's called No Nonsense Office Machines, and they're a full-blown store. I mean, first of all, I've known Rick Fowler for years. He's my copier guy, Okay. Uh, I bet we've been dealing 25 plus years. Everybody's 25 plus years. So I don't want to say how old we are. So we've been dealing a long time, 25 plus years anyway. So anyway, and he owns no-nonsense office machines, and he's in Georgetown. And he sells things like laptops, tablets, computers, not just a computer. He can design a full-blown computer system that networks out throughout your business or whatever. He also sells fax machines, gaming systems, printers, and then, of course, copiers. But he works on stuff, too. So if you have something you want worked on, he can work on it. And just like this, he said, I'll take a look at it. Cleaned it out. He said it was full of sand. How did sand get my act is what I want to know. But anyway, um, it was full of sand, and I shouldn't have left the batteries in it for 15 years. I guess that's like a no-go, all right? So anyway, but he fixed it. My wife is going to be so happy. And a happy wife is a happy life, guys. Just, a, just that's a spoiler alert. But that's the truth. So anyway, she's going to be happy. So Rick, thank you very much for fixing that. But he works on all kinds of things. He sells all kinds of things. And the nice thing is, he has new as well as used. So let's say you just need a used tablet or a used laptop. You don't want to spend a lot of money on it. and um, But you want to know what you got. So you don't want to go somewhere that just has one. He not only has them, he services them. He tests them. He makes sure they're, they're operational. And I think they might even come with it more. So anyway, he also has a Facebook page, No Nonsense Office Machines. Please uh, look that up and like that. But give him a call. Here's his number, 856-7381, 856-7381. No Nonsense Office Machines in Georgetown, two miles east of the circle on Route 9, right next to Sports at the Beach Complex, okay? So that is that one. Now, I'm going to take a walk about here in just a minute with Brandon. Um, I do want to find something to give away. So that is the next mission. Do I have a very long cord here, Brooks? You have a yep. little bit of a little bit of a long cord. I, I think we'll get you a handheld mic so you can actually move around. Well, that's a good easier. idea. I never even thought of the handheld mic, but I'll take Bobby B's mic here in just a minute. So I'm gonna switch mics. Is that all right, guys? No and problem. Does Brandon already have his? No, he's gonna get Collins. All right. So uh, Brandon and I are gonna walk around, folks. We are inside. I'm gonna switch mics. So Brooks, you talk to him while I do that. How's everybody doing today? feeling good i'm not the one that normally takes control of the show so it sounds a lot different here <laughs> all right test test there test. we go are we on oh so really all right now how far can we walk colin until i'm out of breath all right is bobby b good there do we need to move him all right well here i'm gonna start right here everybody we're inside weller's utility trailers in bridgeville the store is not open today till nine this is Brandon Ritter. This is uh, Brooks Ritter's brother. So when you have a question for Wellers, you call and ask for Earl. No, I'm just kidding. You ask for Mr. <laughs> Ritter. Mr. Ritter. Everybody's on commission, so it's very competitive here, all right? So anyway, I want to talk about this item right here. So right at the end of the shelf, folks. How would you describe this, Brandon? We call Let that me ask you, how long table. is it? You're close. 60 foot. How's it 
Now, do you guys measure each and every roll of this, or do you presume they're 60 foot long? Well, we're assuming that the company does the right. Not assume. <laughs> don't do that. Assume. <laughs> oh, it's assume you don't do. Yeah. You, you What did you do? Presume? Presume. Yeah, presume. Yeah, okay. All right. Three quarter inch by 60 foot electric tape. Now, how much would you expect to pay for electric tape at a utility trailer store? Okay, because not all utility trailer stores sell all the things. I do need to tell you that, folks. Not all stores are created equal, all right? Um, some of them just go mad with buying things and selling things. So we'll make this a giveaway. How's that sound? A roll of electric tape. Absolutely free. Do we have many? Is this something we buy and pay for, and I get this by the truckload? Uh, I don't think you got to buy the truckload. But the, okay. The now, what's this? Bit. Friction tape. What is friction tape for? Or like, you can actually tape it. I used to when I was in high school. I used it as uh, Oh, really? Right. All right. Now, that's a bigger roll, 60 foot. So that's longer than this 60 foot. This is 60 yards. Is it really? How do you know that? Where are you seeing 60 yards? That ain't 60. Isn't 60 yards really, really long? That's what it says on the sign. <laughs> Where? It is not 60 yards. They, they made a typo. All right, it is made in the USA. I'm going to do the friction tape because I think I got, you need to change that sign. Yeah. 60 yards is longer than 60 feet, isn't it? Yeah, that's 180 feet. 60 yards. <laughs> hey, take that down right now. <laughs> All right, folks, that was a blooper. We got to right? talk to it's the graphics It's not 60 department. yards long. It's only 60 feet long. That's why I'm going to give it away. All right? And I'm not going to just give you one. I'm going to give you, how many rolls should I give away? Do we have many of it? Oh, here we go. Now we're into a lot. All right. I'm going to give you four rolls of friction tape, not electric tape. Four rolls of friction tape. How much should it be? How much are they? Oh, my gosh. They're 50 cents a piece. But a minute ago, they were 60 yards long. Now they're only 60 feet long. All right. Anyway, four rolls for free. All you got to do is call me. You know the number, 337-7300. All I want to know is this. Who are you? What's your name? That's how I, that's a dead giveaway. Give me your name. Who are you? Do you want, what do you want? So you want four of these. And are you watching on TV or listening on the radio? And then it would be nice if you could tell me if you're watching on, you know, where about you're calling from. All right. Can I move on? I found one mistake in the showroom already. All right. What is another item we would really love to get rid of? What do we got a lot of that's over in here? Well, we have a Brand lot of tarps okay well this may be a good time for tarps you never know when it's going to rain in delaware all right i'm going to make the tarps real simple now here is one 10 foot by 12 foot that's a good size like if you had some firewood you want to cover up your lawnmower oh it is i'm sorry i'll pick the tarp up and bring it out okay all right here it is 16 foot by 20 foot tarp how much is it brandon by 20 is 15 dollars. 15 dollars. All right, so here's what we're going to do it's going to be buy one, get one free. Is that called BOGO? BOGO. BOGO. Buy one, get one free. All right, everybody. So if you want one of these, you got to call me and leave a message. So uh, the phones are ringing. We've got a lot of messages already. 337 7300 if you want a tarp for any reason. All right, now tell me something else we sell here at Wellers. So how far can I walk? Is what I want to know. Can I go? I can go this way. Hey, can I go to this item? People can relate to this. This is a mailbox post, everybody. All right? Brand new. I got a deal on these. I see them in the big box stores, $99, $129. I've got them for $37.50. Now, I'm going to give you a special. I'm going to do two for $75 or three for $100. How about that? Does that sound fair? That's a bargain. Two for $75 is a killer. Okay? <laughs> So thirty-seven fifty. If by any chance, some strange reason, your mailbox post got bent, busted, or disgusted, and I'll tell you one nice thing about these: we just had this happen in one of my rental properties. This post right here broke. Okay, and what was really nice is we didn't have to dig it up and replace the entire thing. How did we do it? I don't even know how we did it. Somehow, we took it apart and just put that one piece in there. I mean, we had to completely tie up a whole nother one, but it was a whole lot better than having to dig it up and have it re-lettered and everything else. So this is a vinyl mailbox post. So it doesn't come with a four. It doesn't even need a four by four, does it? We've got them in numerous properties without, without yep. even a four by four in them. 
So we're just letting you know, $37.50 if you happen to want one of them. So you guys got to keep an eye on our time. There. Here is, you describe this. Is this for gigging? No. I bet you don't even know what gigging is. I don't know what gigging is. Who knows what gigging is? Colin does. All right. Brooks, do you know? I have no clue. You're kidding me. I can, I can Google You've it. You've never gigged a frog? I've never gigged a frog. This is where you get in a kayak. Okay, that you bought from Wellers. It will only work if it's a kayak that you bought. And you get a light, and you shine it down in the water, and a frog will come up, and you kick it. Huh. That's how you have frog legs. We're going to be gigging this afternoon, bro. There you go. It sounds like fun. <laughs> one of you drive the kayak, the other one gig. I'll push. Bring a third person to call for help if something goes wrong. <laughs> call Jim to ask him how we do it. Right, yeah. Doing it right. All right, these are golf clubs that somebody has welded two tips on the end of and they work fantastic for cooking a hot dog or marshmallows over a campfire. Mm -hmm. Now you would come into a utility trailer store and say to yourself, I'm looking for those, okay? Uh, you wouldn't expect to find these in a big box store, I presume. So anyway, we've got them here. They're handcrafted right here in Lower Delaware. And how much are they? $80. $15. What are you doing now? Are we rendering? Keep going is what he's saying. Oh, what, I don't radio's, even know what he's the, saying. The What's radio's he saying? The radio's, gonna radio's break. taking a break. <laughs> Folks, uh, the radio's taking a break, and we're going to stay right on My Cozy TV, so we'll be back to the radio crowd in just a couple minutes. All right, we're going to continue on. So now we're still live on TV, okay? And on my My Cozy TV crowd, I had two free giveaways earlier. So I want to tell you about them one more time. So for the folks watching on My Cozy TV, I want to let you know about my two giveaways that I mentioned earlier. One of them is the Weller Does Delmar of a Coffee Mug, and you could say as seen on TV, okay? Giving them away absolutely free, but you've got to call and just leave me a message that you want one, 337-7300. The other thing that was free, and i got to ask you, if you've been winning before, give everybody else a chance because we only give a few of these away. It's a Weller's discount card. Going to give you one of them absolutely free. No purchase necessary. All you got to do is dial 337-7300, okay? And uh, say where you saw it and that you want one. You're not going to talk to anybody. And if you're there and you're watching and you're nervous and you're saying, yeah, I don't want the pressure of getting something free. It's just more than I can take. There's no pressure. If you call and never come in, it's okay. We're not going to track you down. We're not going to force you to do it. And then the other question that comes up is, will you deliver it or will you mail it to me? No. This is a ploy. We're trying to get you in the store is what we're trying to do. 337-7300. If you want one of them, you say, where in the world is it even good for? This is a discount card. It's good for all of this year. It's good at Burgers and Beans and Abbott's Grill and Papa John's, Applebee's, Hardee's, Bethany Blues, Professional Power Wash, Duncan Car Wash, Arby's, Subway. Snow Yo, the Palace, McDonald's. Listen to this. Buy one, get one free. Quarter Pounder with cheese. Uh, Cafe Tamborelli's, it's good for Rudy's Diner. Rita's, Nicola Pizza. Think about this. What's this weekend in Down in Rehoboth? Does anybody even know? The Polar Bear Plunge. They've got busloads of polar bears coming in, and they're going <laughs> to they're gonna plunge polar bears. No, it's not that at all. It's human beings that jump in freezing cold water on purpose to raise money for a cause. Anyway, while you're down there, you can go to Nicola's, okay, and get some great pizza. What else do they have? Colin's an expert on it. Nicaboli. French fries in a tub. I love them things. So, they are. So, um, here, let me get Bobby D on this one. I'll get back to you a little bit later. All right? Because he was hovering over them, yeah, making me good. nervous. Such a strong presence that young man. He's got, he's got that shadow. Yes, shadow producer. All right, anyway, so Bobby B, do you eat it in the coals? It's one of my favorite pizza places. Okay. And, uh, they're, they're originally from my old neighborhood, basically. My goodness, really? Yeah, basically. All right, basically. Yes. All right, somewhere in the Pennsylvania yeah, area. Exactly. Okay, so basically. Well, I love the so. sauce. Well, anyway, um, we have 10% off on the Weller's discount card at Nicola's, and if you're going to the Polar Bear Plunge, um, it's tomorrow. It's a big event. So, um, you can go there. And the last place I wanted to mention that's on the card is Mama Maria. So what I'm saying to you is this is for the WRDE, My Cozy TV family audience that's watching. Um, I just want to let you know it's free. But 
you got to call 337-7300 and say, I want one of them. Okay, $15 value. I'm going to give you one. Thank you. I really All appreciate right. it. I'll see you at the polls. Okay. No problem. <laughs> All right. You. Yep. And um, anyway, we're going to come back on the radio. Can I switch over? Brooks, you going to talk to everybody for a minute? Sure. This is Brooks Ritter, everybody. We are back live on the radio, Delaware 105.9 now. So we're going to be on My Cozy TV and Delaware 105.9. And we are on the radio now? We are. It's All right, official. everybody. This is it. You are listening to Weller Does Del Marva. We have had some giveaways, uh, 337-7300. If you want one of the free items that we uh, mentioned, you are welcome to it. Um, where am I at in my notes? Uh, Colin Walls is with me. Walls Service Center is actually open to oh, thoughts there today. Colin Walls knows. I am excited. I got a story to tell. I had some work on there this week. All right. But anyway... Wall Service Center is located in downtown Milford. Colin Walls is the owner-operator now. He is the third generation. His grandfather started it way back in 1958. And uh, it's, it's unbelievable for a business to you know, be on the third generation. Still giving great service. Colin has a work ethic. He has great people to work for him. They're fair. They're honest. You know, everybody, when you take your car somewhere, you're just a nervous wreck. You, know, you wonder, oh, my gosh, is it going to be a big deal, a little deal? I hope that, you know, do a good job for me. I hope you treat me fair. Collin Walls and Walls Service Center will do a good job and will treat you fair. They're open uh, today, actually, until noon. And, you know, a lot of people got this unpredicted snow the other day. Well, it was yesterday, as a matter of fact. But, you know, one thing I always struggle with, my windshield washer fluid is not always full. You swing in there, they will, you know, without an appointment, on top off your windshield washer fluid. Or you got a wiper blade that's just not right. They'll go ahead and replace that for you. Um, if you're getting ready to go through inspection, you just need your brake lights and your turn signals and your headlights tested. Because do you know, Bobby B, how difficult it is to check your brake lights? I know I can't do it. Right, because you have to hit your brake right. and then run around the back you need of the three, car. Four people to do it. That's right. You yeah. need a team. Exactly. You need a team. But you don't have to do it. You just go right to Wall Service Center in downtown Milford and say, hey, I'm getting ready to go through inspection. Could I at least have you look at my wiper blades and check my headlights and turn signals and just make sure... I'm semi-ready to go. And also, when it's cold out, tire pressure, you lose a little air pressure, and Wall Service Center will also check your air pressure. Your tires just pop in. I mean, can, can I tell you something? I had this old car, okay? okay. I had a bunch of things wrong with it. I asked Colin to take a look, give me some prices. Okay. Every price he gave me was 50% of what other people should Oh, yeah. Charge. Yeah, especially if you were to compare it to, like, it a car dealer. Unbelievable. Yeah. Very, very, very affordable. Yep. When they give you a quote, that's it. Um, you know, they know what they're doing. I, I had a, I had a I call it a Suburban. It's really a Yukon, a GMC vehicle. And um, it lost oil pressure. I was kind of panicky. I was like, uh-oh, this is going to be big, something major. And I think it was just like called an oil sending unit. They changed the oil, and it was all done the same day. And I was like, man, that is just really good service. Excellent you know? service. And when they talk to you, they talk to you. They don't talk down to you or make you feel stupid or anything like that. So good, friendly people, honest place to deal, downtown Milford, Delaware. One call does it all, 422-8110, 422-8110. So give them a call. Josh will be there, I think, at 8 o'clock today. I'm up at 730 or 8, but either one, uh, you call and leave a message, or you call and get it. Either one, they'll take care of you. So what is next? I want to talk about that granite place, too. Um, they are a local company that does granite work. I'm going to brag on them a little bit, too. I just did some business with them. Uh, not a big job, but um, I'll say this. It was as big a job that made my wife very happy. Same old thing. Happy wife, happy life. So anyway, that granite place is located right down the road here on Route 13 in Bridgeville. And if you go by and you look, you say, my gosh, look at those slabs of either granite or marble or quartz. There's like a thousand of them out there. It's not even an exaggeration. And the reason he has those is the same reason I have so much inventory. I want my customers and they want their customers to have the option to look at multiple things and to not have to look on the internet or look in a book. I mean, you can touch them, you can feel them. And what's interesting is there are these great big slabs. Some of them are as tall as big. But anyway, and they have like a grain running through them. I call it a grain or it's so neat because he has that one. Then he has the one that was cut right behind that one, and then the next one also. And the reason for that is if you were having a big countertop done or something like that, you would want the guy to have one slab, then he has to order more. Well, then the stuff doesn't match up, and you can tell it. So then they have to maneuver it around and so on. So they have a lot of selection. 
They were very helpful with us. They spent a lot of time going over the different differences between this one and this one and what country it is from and stuff like that. Because they go into mountains and they literally cut these slabs somehow right off of the, I don't know if they cut them off the side of the mountain or they cut a big piece off and then put them in a machine. But it's the neatest thing is what I'm saying. So go down there if you are out just over the weekend or if you want to go there today. They're actually open today till 2, 9 to 2. But if you want to just walk around their property and look at all these slabs, you will be impressed. So if you're doing some remodeling of your own, whether you deal with a contractor or whether you um, are a do-it-yourselfer, they can help you out. Would you have a comment? Yeah. I was just going to comment that the guy that owns the Granite Place is really a great community citizen, very yes. involved, doing some very good oh, things. Oh, gives back. Oh, yes. my goodness. So yep. good. And that's important, too, because where we live, a lot of companies around here, they kind of blow in and blow out like the wind. But yep. he's here. He's rock solid. Yep. That's how I, he's solid as granite. But Got anyway, it. that granite place, Route 13 in Bridgeville, they are open today if you wanted to talk to them today. But here's what I do want to tell you. We've got a crazy special. i got him doing a special now. There okay? you go. There you go. So anyway, here's what he has. He will come to your place and clean your um, granite. Okay, so he'll clean all your countertops. If there's any small repairs that need to be done, he'll do those. And he will put a sealer on it. This is about like $179 value. If you mention Jim Weller or Weller does Del Marva, what do you call $99. Bucks. That's on the building. Nine, I mean, you can't even pay somebody to just come to your house no. and work on an appliance for $99. So $99, you get your granite cleaned. You get any minor repairs. If it's more than minor, he'll tell you how much it would be. And then they seal it for $99. That is a special. You must mention you heard it on Jim Weller's show. And what a wonderful Valentine's Day gift for somebody. And Valentine's Day, I don't know the exact date, but I know it's close to whenever the date turned to 500 is. When is it? It's Next Sunday. Day. Next, Next Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's a week after the uh, right. polar bear plunge. <laughs> right. That's how I remember. It's a week after the polar bear plunge. But anyway, give them a call. You're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> All the way around. All <laughs> yeah. the way around. Yeah. Oh, why? 337 7490. Mark Johnson from that granite place. If you want to go there and browse around, they are very consumer friendly, meaning if you're a homeowner and you have no idea what you're doing or no idea what you want, give them a call. I just had a butcher block thing in my kitchen um, and they put granite on it. My wife is so happy. And um, again, my wife is so happy. So anyway, <laughs> 337 it's beautiful. You can go to my Facebook page, Jim Weller, and look up the pictures. I got a before and after. It's the neatest thing, the job he did. All right, what is the number? 337-7490, Mark Johnson, that granite place. Call him, and even if you don't need anything, call him and tell him you heard about it on Weller Does Del Mar. Bobby B., how you holding up? I'm holding up good, really good. Glad to be with you today. Good. Speaking yep. of Valentine's Day, I have yes. to tell you. All right. On Valentine's Day, Which on is, WRD, oh, okay. NBC Coast TV, All right. we got something that's never been done before. Okay. Jimmy Fallon's special Valentine's Day special. Extra special. Really? And it is hilarious. <laughs> and I just can't wait to see it. <laughs> What's right, It's going to be 9 o'clock. Okay. The Sunday night. All right. Right before it, the best of Saturday Night Live Valentine's gifts. Oh, my tonight. gosh. It's going to be spectacular. So it sounds like a good evening. After you kind of wind down from the right. dinner and the wine and everything, and the wine, yeah. you would just laugh for three hours straight. It's going to be fantastic. Wow. Is there a limit to how much somebody can laugh? Nobody's going to we, over laugh. We're giving them. it away free. Oh, WRD. my gosh. You got it. Free laughs. No you limit. That's right. How do you like that sun? It's kind of, it, it is kind of bright, isn't it? Well, it's is it that or is there a glare up here? I don't know. Okay. Uh, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow's on the day of the big game. Oh, the big game. The game. That's what we call it. Okay. From four to six on WRDE. We don't have the big game. It's on another channel. Okay. okay. Last year we had it. We'll have it in a couple of years. Okay. We don't have it this year. Okay. But on our station we have something wonderful called Frixer Football. What is that? Frixer Football gives you a chance to take a break from whatever you're watching during the big game. Come over to our channel, play trivia games, see some really? interesting events. We've got the kids from the. Uh, the uh, Pee Wee Football League over in Laurel, Delaware. Okay. Reenacting the top ten football plays of all time. It is absolutely good. hilarious. We and also, it's local. It's local in Laurel. Well, it's not live, but it was at the time. We also local in Laurel. Local in Laurel. Okay. And also we have, um, we went out to the parking lot at, uh, at Pahanka. Okay. And showed people 
how to tailgate food that they really like, they see it on TV, it looks fancy, how to do it in three seconds flat in your own backyard, no time whatsoever. So we've got friction football from 4 to 6 okay. tomorrow okay. on WRDE, NBC Coast TV, and then from 6 to 10 on My Cozy TV. My goodness. It gives you an alternative to yeah. friction football. Very good. That's going to be a lot of fun. That's kind of cool. Is that yeah. something you invented? I did not invent it, but I know the guy that did. He's very smart. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right. So that's another interesting thing. Yeah. All right. So anyway, how does somebody watch your stations? Tell us what the channels are and where sure. they can get it. Um, I guess the most uh, talked about way okay. is, on, is on Comcast or Mediacom, where it's on Channel 9 on Standard Definition okay. and Channel 809 on High Definition. Okay. On Dish Network, Direct TV, it's on Channel 31. Okay. And over the air, it's Channel 31.1 for NBC okay. and 31.2 for My Cozy TV. Okay. We're not on Fios, right. so anyone that has Fios that's listening to the radio right now and would like to have our... They can't do that because of territorial reasons. Oh, my God. But gosh, they should tell right. their Comcast rep, I mean, their Fios, Fios rep, rep you want it. that we want WRDE. Right. We want local NBC on Fios. Okay. It's a very important thing we so got to get Because if enough people do that, it will happen. Yeah, there's only 6,000 people that have Fios. Okay. They can't get WRDE, NBC. They have to watch NBC 300 miles away. And they call me so every day. they can't get anything local? No, they call me every day. At the uh, TV station, they go, why aren't you on Fios? And like I go, it's your fault. Let, yeah, and like <laughs> I've been only talking to them for 18 months. <laughs> so call Fios and get WRD NBC on your Fios. All right. That's what I have to say about that. You heard it here first. Yeah. But other than right. that, it's very easy to watch. All right. All right. I'm going to move on to something else. Can you hang around? I would love to hang. I'm having such a good time. I'll okay. stay here all day and get all some right. trailers. There you go. All right. Ooh. Here we yeah. go. How many? Here's the contest. How many trailers can Bobby D buy in one day? How many can I can I haul? That's we'll get them to you. Don't right. you worry about that. Right. We have duct tape. <laughs> yeah. You get oh that's right. <laughs> We're gonna go through the showroom again in a little while and look for some more misprints. Okay, and see if we can find any. They're very important to me. All right, where am I at in my notes? Did I talk about that granite place? Yes, you did. I talked about Wall Service Center. Have I had Bob Backman on? I think so. All right, uh, walk the showroom. I'm gonna hold tight on that for just a minute. I'm afraid about it time. Where am I at on time? little bit um, I do want to I want to find another giveaway on um, Brooks I need some help with that I want to really do something interesting how do I do that with my talent level um, how about Teflon tape a Teflon tape I got a better one I need one of these uh, is somebody else here Brandon or is he on the phone or Brandon or Jason are behind you there okay I need one of them wine coolers. if somebody could give me one of them Okay, now we're talking. But in the meantime, I want to talk about these candy bars. I don't know the exact name of the ball team that my granddaughter is on, but she signed up for something. Oh, okay. It's a wine carrier. Gosh, I am just slipping. All right, well, anyway, here it is. I'm going to put it up here for just a minute, and then I'm going to tell you the offer I'm going to make, okay? But anyway, I want to talk about these candy bars. All right? My granddaughter signed up for something. Exactly, exactly. But anyway, she got this nice box of candy bars that they would like her to sell. Okay? And I'm thinking, the world's a little kid going to sell candy bars. And I said, but I got this. But the problem is, I hate one of them. And I love them. I love them. Okay? But the box is huge, and I'm embarrassed to buy the entire box of them. So I want to share with you these candy bars, everybody. My daughter, I want to tell you the exact terminology that one person described these candy bars as, but I'm describing them as really, really, really good. So I want you to be aware, if anybody's trying to sell you any of these candy bars, they are really good. I erased it. Anyway, um, she didn't think they were top brand. I think they're beyond top brand. I think they're better than that. They're two bucks a piece. I'll sell you three of them for five dollars, okay, if you want any of them. I've only got one case of them. And I want to get rid of them because I want to tell you something. I love them. I love them. And they are really good. And if I eat them, something usually happens when I eat too many candy bars. And something stops happening when I eat too many candy bars. And I'll leave that to your own imagination, okay? <laughs> something happens and something stops happening when I eat too much chocolate. There you go. Hold that. What are oh, the green ones? They are. Looks like money. Uh, the London Mint. Ooh. The London go. Mint. Yes. 
this was my favorite Bobby B. A sweet mingling of home. Oh no, not that one. Not that one. It's this one. Or, uh, a classic combination. So that one was a sweet mingling. Gotcha. This is a classic combination. Premium milk chocolate and crunchy crisp rice. I freeze them. And oh man. Yes. That's my favorite combination. Oh my gosh, they're wonderful. That's out of sight. Yep, two bucks a piece, three for five dollars, and uh, only available at Weller's Utility Trailers on Route 13 in Bridgeville. Okay. Damn, can I move on? Did I butcher that one up good enough? I think you did a great <laughs> job with it. That's a great job. Where am I at on my notes? L and W. Do I need to talk about them? Yes, you do. Um. Oh, can I mention next week's show? Absolutely. It's not next week. When's the 20? Two weeks. Two weeks from now. you got to mark your calendar. We're going to be at the Dry Zone Red Barn on Route 16 in Ellendale, and we're going to be joined by Chef Ryan Cunningham, and we're going to be cooking up some really neat stuff, and it's we're giving it away, like complimentary food cooked by Chef Ryan Cunningham while we do a live remote inside of the Dry Zone Red Barn. We might have you stop by. Do you really? We're going to ask you to use that microphone. I love his cooking. <laughs> I sure do. I wish, I wish he would have won that contest. Oh, so do I. It's so great. He put Delaware on the map, though. Yes, that's true. Right, sure so now a state. Thank goodness. <laughs> all right, well, anyway, mark your calendar for the 20th, all right? The, what month is this? February. February 20th. We're going to be doing the show there live. Chef Ryan Cunningham's going to be there. And we're going to have a good time. Now, l &W Insurance, let me talk about that. I'll bet you right now some people have contacted their insurance company in the past 30 days for something. Because the weather has been interesting. And whether you have any leakage, like if you look up there, <laughs> we've got leakage all over this place. But anyway, um, if you need a good insurance company, I highly recommend l &W Insurance Agency. They're located all over the place, but they I think their main headquarters is in Dover. I call them on the phone when I need them. And uh, they answer the phone. And when they answer the phone, it's a live human being. And I love that because when I call, I usually need something like now. So I don't want to get a voicemail because somebody's off for the day or out to lunch. I need to talk to somebody. So when I call, I say, here's who I am. Here's who I'm looking for. Oh, they're in their office. Nope, they're not in their office. They're out to lunch or they're off for the day. Uh, but so and so. I love that instead of leaving or getting a voicemail. So anyway, it's l &W Insurance Agency, locally owned, locally operated, been serving Delaware for over 60 years. And um, look at that bird, it almost looks like a flock. Anyway, let me move on. <laughs> oh, I didn't have windows in last week's show. So anyway, um, l &W Insurance Agency, good people to deal with. They sell auto insurance, home, health, life, commercial coverage. Uh, I told you already, when you call, when they're open, you get a live human being answering the phone. They're one of the largest independent agencies in Delaware. They represent you, the policyholder, not the insurance company. What in the world does that mean? It means that with them, you don't have to.